And um, if it's bad now, watch it. Watch what's going to happen in October. October is going to be the month that you will not forget forever. It's going to be a horrible, horrible, terrible thing that's going to happen to the earth in October. And it's on its way with us now. We haven't seen it. Well, Americans don't know. They have no idea in the world. What's going on is coming in October. So just remember, it was Jordan Maxwell that warned you about October. October. What's going on in October? You will see it's going to be horrible. October right. surprise, huh? That's all I need. I, I, I need more horrible things to happen. <laughs> well, <laughs> good. Any more detail than that? Hold <laughs> on just a minute. Yeah, pull it up. Close it. I'm thinking comet is what I'm thinking that because we are well, the, it very well might be a comet it very well might be a world war whatever it is is going to affect the whole earth it's going to be like 9/11 was for New York October is going to be like 9/11 for the whole world we're going to experience it all over the earth something terrible is coming for the Earth, it's going to happen in October. Do you know what this something is? No, I don't. All I know is it's going to be worldwide. Where do you, I'm, I'm not trying to be smart. I'm trying to ask honest questions. What What do you base it on? I'm basing it on astrology. So something. The whole Earth is going to go into Ophiuchus Scorpio. Scorpions are deadly. Scorpio represented by a scorpion is deadly deadly scorpions and the exalted god over scorpio is mars mars was the god of war because you take the m in mars turn it upside down it becomes w a r not m a r so mars was the god of war and god he is the exalted ruler of <clears throat> off of Yucas, Scorpio. And that's what we're going to be on October 1st, is off of Yucas, Scorpio. And the whole world is going to feel off of Yucas, Scorpio. And the, and the exalted rule of off of Yucas, Scorpio is going to be the god of war. So what I'm saying is it looks like there's going to be a world war in October. Some kind of a catastrophe. I don't know what it is. But it's going to affect the whole entire Earth. So that's right. it. So, wow. well, yeah, it, it makes sense. You know, I've been saying I think there was something <clears throat> much bigger to all this. That uh, oh, you know, yeah. a lot of times, you know, when 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 you see chaos like this kicking up, there's a reason for it. That's right. Yeah. There is. <clears throat> there is a reason, and the reason is Ophiuchus Scorpio. <clears throat> Hmm. You see, there are 12 signs in the Zodiac, but there's one more that's, that nobody knows about. It's called Ophiuchus. There's 12 signs in the Zodiac, and one more is called Ophiuchus. Ophiuchus is very, very, very severe. Well, if it's very severe, and the god who's leading it is Mars, the god of war then that means there's going to be some terrible, very, very, very terrible event is going to hit the world in October. Just remember I told you, October, and remember who said it. Remember it was me. I will remember. Because nobody else is telling you about Ophiuchus. No. I, actually, this is the first I've heard about it. And, yep, uh, well, stick around. You think it's bad now? Wait till October. Hmm. Well, that's kind of depressing. I got to tell you, I'm not happy about this year at all. <laughs> I know. Well, I know that's what I live with every day. I live with the knowledge of what's going on, and I realize that I can't do anything at 80 years old. All I can actually do is sound the warning. Yeah. Because I know what's coming. I know that something terrible is coming in October. So all I can do is do radio and tell the people I have no idea what's going to happen. 
I just know the whole entire earth is going to be involved. The whole earth is going to be involved in it. Othiuka Scorpio. Scorpions are deadly, and the god over Scorpio is Mars. So we're talking about a deadly war. Some kind of a horrible incident is going to happen for the whole earth in October. Hmm. Well, that's it. That's maybe, all I can tell. Maybe they released a real bioweapon. Say it again? I say maybe they'll release the real bioweapon. Yeah, yeah well, you're right. Something you know, like, listen, it's not that far-fetched. I mean, when you think about it, with open borders, the way that we have them, and I, and, and I hope I'm not offending anyone, but I'm going to tell you something. Say what it like is it is, prevent, brother. What is going to prevent them from coming into this country with smallpox or, or something else? And our airport, come on, it's the TSA, okay? Uh, it, it's, it's really not that hard to uh, walk right past them. Um, and then they can go to a city, spend about 10, 15, 20 minutes there at a Starbucks, hop a plane, go to another city, hop a plane, go to another city, hop a plane, go to another one. Exactly how are we going to find them? How are we going to know what they're even doing? And within a matter of, of days, within a matter of days, this stuff could get so bad, so fast, and we're not addressing the problem. And the problem is off the Yucca Scorpio. <laughs> <laughs> God of war. War. It's not going away tonight. I'm telling you. Oh, it's not going away at all. It's just going to continue to get worse until October. Uh, and October uh, is not that far from now. When, when October is over, can you tell us anything about that? Yes. When it's over, it's going to take one year and six months to get back to normal living mm. and when it's over from this October to the next October is a year then add six months more to that and then it's going to get back to normal everything will settle down so but where are I'm we worried saying? about this October to next October because there's a whole year of something that's going to be terrible a whole year of it and Finally, the American people will finally get their head out of their ass and wake up and find out what's been going on since 1945, and they'll finally figure out what the Knights Templars were and who the Knights of Malta are and find out the Jesuit operation out of the Vatican and finally figure out why, why John F. Kennedy was assassinated. You're going to finally find out all of that shit real soon. <clears throat> all of this started back with the killing of Kennedy. And now it's going to kill the whole country. And when this country goes, the whole world is going to go with it. Because if America gets a cold, everybody else gets TB and dies. Why? Because we, the USA, feeds the world. We feed the earth. We feed China rice. We're feeding rice and food to Russia. We're feeding the whole world. We're feeding everyone. We're financing them. We send them guns. We send them materials. We're sending them ammunition so that they can come here and kill us. We are a mentally deranged country with people who are criminals, who are mentally deranged in power. Like and they have in mind to destroy this country forever. And we Americans can't do nothing about it because we're ignorant, ill-informed, and unread. <laughs> so we're just plain old stupid and we're ignorant and there's nothing we can do about it. <clears throat> but me, I'm 80 years old. I've been talking about this for a long, long time. Yeah, now people are finally seeing it uh, come forward. And this is what That's I was right. saying. All these things that used to be conspiracy theories. Uh, yeah. Now, yeah, With not no more. Silly ass conspiracy theory. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, now you find out it wasn't a theory. I was a, I was a conspiracy analyst, not <laughs> theorist. I was analyzing the situation. All you need to do is go to school and get an education and earn and earn a, a diploma and learn how to read and write and speak and think. And that's why America has been told what to think, but not how to think. 
And that's well, why we are watching Bugs Bunny, Daffy <laughs> Duck, Porky Pig, and the government, and our state governments, and we're wearing our masks. And the Russians, the communists in Russia used to call the Russian people, it was V.I. Lenin, I think it was V.I. Lenin who was heading the revolution in Russia. He used to call the Russian people useful idiots because they were useful, because he, because V.I. Lenin, the head of the Communist Party, needed all the people of Russia to join the Russian communist system. Well, finally, the useful idiots have done that. And that's what they're doing now. They're wearing their masks. They stay home. They don't do anything they're told not to do. And you want to follow what the government tells you because that's what the communists want. They want you not to think on your own, but to do what you're told to do. And that's what's going on today is we're doing what we've been told to do. Put your mask on, stay at home, keep your mouth shut, and don't talk to anybody. It's all a conspiracy theory. No, it's a conspiracy theory. analyst. I'm analyzing what's going on. I've watched it happen in the past. I'm seeing it happening now, and I know it's coming in October. So, what else can I tell you? But we've got to get ready. It's coming. Complete shutdown of America. And yeah, boy, it's going to be horrible. Yeah, you know, I had a uh, military uh, guy. Who's, he's uh, not my family, but he's in a friend's family. And uh, and he had said that at some point there's going to be, uh, you know, you're going to see military on the streets, but they're going to be there That's to right. protect the people, he said. Uh, and That's that right. you better get what you need now because at some point you're not going to be able to. <clears throat> that's well, that's our, exactly that's our job, and I mean, you have to you have to understand. Like when when we served, we we take an oath, you know, against foreign or domestic. And why uh, did they put that word "and domestic" in there? Or or domestic? Because they knew. Why did they put that in there? For you to well, take an oath or domestic. Well, you have to remember the Navy's been around since seventeen seven seven. In the 1700s, late 1700s, yeah, and and so that was put in there, and when they first came out, and that was because I think that the people, the forefathers, knew that tyrannical governments happen. They knew that. That's exactly correct. You're right. So, uh, and 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 I think that we have that, but I, you know, for the veterans, it's uh, it's one the of those veterans have not been told anything. They're told what to do. Follow orders, keep your mouth shut. And chain of command. Follow orders. It is. And so it's that's a chain what of they're command. doing today. We're following orders. Yeah. Put your mask on, keep your mouth shut, and stay at least six foot away from other humans. Isolate yourself away from other humans. Put your mask on, stay home, and shut up. And maybe the communist takeover of the world can happen because we will have killed ourselves. We will have committed suicide. That's what we're doing now, is committing suicide. I agree. But me, I don't care because I'm 80 years old, and happily, I'm not going to be here much longer. Maybe I'll be gone. Maybe God will let me go. After 60 years of telling people what's coming, maybe God will let me go. And it's going to be incredible what we're going to see happening to America and to the world. After October, Boy. and the and the worst part is that at the end of the October, it's going to be another October. That's a whole year, and then six months. So it's going to be a year and six months after October. Everything will get back to normal, and then when it gets back to normal, everything on the earth will be digitized. Everything will be digitized. Television will be digitized. Radio will be digitized. And with digital, we know that you can put on television anything you want. You can have people standing here talking to you, and it's all digital. It's all being worked on by somebody. It's incredible what's coming down on down the tubes. I don't want to be here any longer. I want to leave. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be here any longer. I want to be a free American. And see, you don't, you're not an American.